Jay Martinez with Fight Hope TV. I'm here with Jamel Herring. Jamel, you know, it's a lot of fights I want to talk to you about. First of all, you know, we just finished the press conference, Crawford versus Porter. Right. It's a very respectful, mutual atmosphere between both fighters. You know, why do you think, why is that? Um, because like I said, the, it's all, it all goes back to the amateur program. Um, a lot of mutual respect. I mean, I got a lot of love for Kenny and Sean. You know, those guys helped me when I was in the amateurs. So, so like, you know, it's, it's really hard to have bad blood when you have got guys that you probably work with and you came up with as, as young kids and now we're all adults. And, you know, it's all about maturity. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, with that being said, though, you know, it doesn't mean it's, that won't be a hell of a fight. But, like I said, you don't have to be an asshole, to, you know what I'm saying, to build a good fight. There's fights. I don't know if you can agree or disagree with me. There's fights that they don't need to be sold because of the magnitude of the fight. Do you agree this is one of them? Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I think like these, this, like this is a fight that, honestly, a lot of people have asked for anyway. A lot of fans have been clamoring for this fight. A lot of fans thought this fight would never happen. So when it does happen, of course, people are, are already glued and tuned in. So I think, I think you know what I mean, it's, it's a good fight for the sport. They're both, they're both um, fan-friendly fighters, of, more importantly. They're very entertaining. And you know they, they 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 show up a lot of class and respect for one another, and people are will actually going to be tuned in to see how good friends actually you know can go to go go, go to hell and back against each other, and then and then come out and still hug it out. Crawford has stated that it's not one of the biggest fighters of his career, but come Saturday night, on November twentieth, they could you know we could probably see. An electric Crawford, electric Porter. What do we expect from both fighters? You know, like I said, man, I love Bud. Bud is my brother, of course. But I, I, I believe that this is one of the most saying biggest fights. It's like I said, Sean Porter. You know, he's never in a, like in a boring fight. He's never in a boring fight, like I mentioned before. But you know, um, that, that, that that's just Bud oozing, you know, his his confidence. But I think I think it's, it's still is a big fight for both individuals, especially especially moving forward. There's, there's a lot of great, still a lot of good fights to be made out there in the division alone. So it's definitely a big fight for both individuals, and I look forward to it. What are the best attributes that Sean Porter brings into the boxing? Sean ring? Porter has best attribute is the dog in him. He is that dog. Bud has dog in him, but you know, Sean, Sean, that, that's one of his best attributes is that dog in his arm. Um, you know, his his will, his will to win. You know, Sean, Sean will, will put, put himself through hell just to get to you and, and, and overwhelm you and try to dominate you. You know, Bud, on the other hand, he's real sharp. He's real sharp. And he's um, he's he, he's strong with both hands. He has power on both hands, and he's um, he's smart. He's a smart boxer and. He will fight with you as well. He won't, you know, if he has a fight with you, he will fight with you. So that's, that's what makes this fight a great matchup. You're obviously in camp with Crawford. You're also preparing for your fight. Bohek right. just said that once this fight was made, Crawford has everybody amped or hyped up everybody. Has that, is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah, every time, every time we're, we're, we're training in the same gym, I love the energy he brings. You know, and I'm sure, and I, and I know he loves the energy that I bring. We push each other, we motivate each other. So, of course, yeah, but when you got two fighters in the same camp that have really big fights coming up, of course, you, everyone's gonna, everyone is gonna be on the same page and, um, you know, trying to push each other to, to, to bring out the best of each other. Obviously, you know, Crawford has done a lot, three division champion, undefeated. Come Saturday night, what else, after the victory, once he becomes victorious or the outcome of the fight, what else does Crawford need to do for his legacy? Um, you know, I think his, his legacy is pretty much cemented, but there's always room for more. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like Bob and him already said, the guy's already, he's already been under, he's already been an undisputed, you know, junior welterweight champion. He, he was, um, uh, you know, the, the lineal lightweight champion. But of course, you know, that there's more that Bud, there's more that, that Bud can achieve in his career to really further cement, you know, his legacy. But I mean, like I say, he's had a, he's had a, he's had a like I mentioned earlier today, he's had a career Hall of Fame, um, you know, career, however you want to put it. You know what I mean? Even though people always say that, you know, yes, he he doesn't have fought the the, the 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 big the big welterweights, but the things he did before, you know, pretty much, you know, kind of cemented who he is. But again, there's still a lot more he can he can achieve in the division alone. He said. After Saturday night, I'm still going to get criticized. He says, regardless. We all do. We all <laughs> he do. He says, I'm still going to get criticized. So what after that, 
what else should Crawford, you know, pursue with other types of fighters? You know, the, the, the names of, of, you, of, of you, Spence, you, and you then they say Ugas, move up to... Listen, listen, you got, listen, I know Ugas will love to fight him as well. They, they have history in the, in the amateurs, in the amateurs. I think Ugas had got a win over Bud, matter of fact. Of course, you know, the, 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 the Spence fight looms. Shout out to my guy, Errol Spence, that's my brother. I hope, I hope he's out there, you know, doing well and healing up well. So, but there's a lot, there's still a lot of, even, um, not even just the champions, you still, I would still like to see maybe a, a Danny Garcia, Terrence Crawford fight, or, or, or so on. There's a lot, there's still a lot of, not only just top great champions in the division, but a lot of top ground contenders as well. So there's a lot more that, that not only but um, Bud, but Sean can, can, can do in the division as well. Let's flip the page real quick, and you know, your fight coming up with Shakur Stevenson, <laughs> yeah. you know, the face-off. You know, he was doing his own thing, trying to get you under your skin, and seemed laser focused. Oh yeah. Why is that? Why is that? You? It seems like nothing's getting to you. Um, you know what? I actually, I actually have to give a lot of that credit to my daughter. Mm -hmm. My my daughter um was crazy. You know, kids they see social media, they on it every day now. And my daughter, she was seeing everything that was playing out before, prior to the press conference. And she told me, she said, Dad. Whatever you do, don't ever step out of character and um, you know be something okay. that you're not. So that's one reason why I kept my cool. Cause like okay. I said, if, if my daughter is watching this, imagine how many others are watching, who look up to me are watching this as well. Okay. And you know, and I'm a, I'm a U.S. Marine. I'm a Marine first, so I don't. I've been through worse. You know, I've been through I've been through hell and back. Okay. I, I've, I've suffered um, loss. Um, personally, you know, I lost, I lost, I lost, I lost a child. So for me, boxing has always been more therapeutic in my in my way to get away from things at times when I'm going through a lot. So it doesn't bother me. This is what I love to do. This is what I'm here for. I mean, you can see it in my in my the energy I have now. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just happy to just be in this environment and be a part of a big fight. So you can say whatever you want about me. It doesn't really matter. Um, at the end of the day, we, we both signed the contract, so we're gonna fight regardless. What do we expect from Jamel Herring come fight night? I'm um, just just keep pushing, man. Regardless of what anyone says about me and my past, I'm always gonna continue pushing because I have the, the will to win, and I have people that, that love me that I fight for. So that's that's just me. And I also want to give a shout out to my um, you know my brother Gerard Herring and my other brother my, my other little brother Pop. You know those two those two dudes they always hold me down and they actually you know they keep me balanced. So. Shout out to them, but you can definitely see a lot from me um, uh, just coming up fight, and I'm just motivated and ready. What do you expect from Shakur Stevenson? I he's a very tactical fighter. It. He's going to bring it. He's going to bring it. I, I take nothing from him. Regardless of what he may say about me or whatever, I still look at him as a serious threat. So I'm not overlooking anyone, but I hope he's not overlooking any or looking over me as well, but I expect him to bring it as well. Jamal, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you.